Hello everyone, welcome to Blender Encyclopedia. Today we are going to look at how the noise animation modifier works. So it happens in the graph editor. So for example, what we will do is if I hit the N key, we will uh, scale the Y value of this cube and then we will animate it. So all we have to do is insert, I will go and insert a single keyframe. Uh, on frame number one and then we will shift to graph editor okay so we created a cube right clicked here and said single keyframe and then we move to the graph editor there you will see that there is a keyframe for y-axis I'll hit the N as in nose uh, key on the keyboard uh, that we use the same for bringing this panel up and we'll go to modifier I'm going to add the noise modifier. Okay, and now if you hit play by hitting the space bar, you'll see that the cube is now ha now has a random animation on the Y key. Okay, you can see how the Y key is animating. Now you can control these keys. Uh, for example, you can increase the scale so it animates slowly okay and you can in even increase the strength of it so it can move at a higher value the other thing you can do is you can increase the the noise by adding the depth so there will be more noise to the cube as it moves okay or it can have less noise The other thing is you can click on restrict frame range so you decide where you want the animation to start and when you want the animation to stop. For example, we'll say it starts at 50 and it stops at 200. Okay, so you can see that the animation is now starting. There's no animation from 0 to 50 and then it will start. Then it will stop at 200 as well. Now the other thing you can do is you can control the in and out. So you can fade in and fade out. So you can fade in. And then you can fade out the animation. So it happens. And then it will stop. Alright. What you can also do is, for example, our animation is cutting at 0, ending at say 250 okay so I'll insert a keyframe and then I'll go to 125 which is the midpoint 126 and then I'll stretch it wrong and insert a single keyframe so now our animation is now it is building up to becoming big and now You can even try to add to the animation or you can multiply onto it or you can subtract from it to get different results. Okay, so you can then reduce the Instead of subtract, we can just say replace. Okay, but I want this to start from say one and at end at two fifty. Okay, and then we can then add a little bit of in and out. So it's trying to stretch and then it's getting crazy. It stops back to normal. Alright. So that's about it. Uh, very simply you can create uh, interesting effects uh, using the noise modifier. One more thing is uh, if you have your camera, you can even add the noise modifier to your camera. 
So all you have to do is decide which axis you want the noise modifier to be applied to. For example, if it is Y axis or X axis or Z axis. For example, I'll do it into Z axis. I'll add a keyframe and then we'll add a noise modifier and then you get a camera animation as well. Okay, so you can have like camera shake if you want. That's about it. Thank you very much.